Have you ever stopped to think about the incredible power that something as ordinary as salt holds? Well, get ready, because today we're about to explore the fascinating world of salt and all the amazing things it can do. Salt isn't just for seasoning your food. It's been a game changer for humanity throughout history and is revered in cultures worldwide as a symbol of purity and protection. Believe it or not, in ancient times, salt was so valuable that it was practically like having gold in your hands. All right, let's dive into some key points about salt. Throughout history, salt has been revered as a symbol of purity across many cultures. It's been used in religious ceremonies to cleanse and shield against dark forces. Back in the day, salt was so precious that it doubled as currency in some parts of the world. Fun fact. In ancient times, salt was incredibly valuable and even used as a form of currency in certain regions. And did you know that the term salary has its roots in salt? It harkens back to the payments made to Roman soldiers, similar to how we receive salaries today. Let's talk about some ancient beliefs regarding salt. You know that saying about spilling salt and bad luck? Well, it's a belief that's been around in many cultures for ages. But don't worry. There's a simple remedy. Just toss a pinch over your left shoulder with your right hand, and you'll ward off any negative energy. This superstition runs deep and is shared across different cultures, showing just how ingrained it is in our collective psyche. And let's not forget about the magical side of salt. It's believed to have powerful cleansing and protective properties in mystical practices. That's why it's commonly used to create circles of protection and dispel any negative vibes. In the world of magic, salt is closely tied to the earth element and rituals are performed to establish boundaries and keep spaces safe. Plus, it's believed to purify spaces during rituals, making it a versatile tool for practitioners. So, whether you're sprinkling it in the kitchen or using it in magical ceremonies, salt has a lot more to offer than just flavoring your food. Specifically, in the Bible, the preserving role of salt is highlighted. It was used as a means to preserve food since modern refrigerators obviously did not exist at that time. Salt was used to slow down the decomposition process. This particular use directly refers to the idea of holiness among those who followed Jesus Christ. In Matthew 5, verse 13, it says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. As you can see, salt is a very important component in energetic transmutation and preservation. All right, let's dive into the process. Have you ever wondered why putting salt in your shoes could make a difference? Let's explore it. Imagine your legs as more than just limbs. They're like your roots, anchoring you in your life's journey. But as you strive for your dreams, obstacles are bound to come your way, right? These stumbling blocks can derail you, affecting both your spiritual and personal development. Now, in many belief systems, there's this idea that when you're feeling vulnerable or uncertain, negative vibes might come knocking, trying to throw you off your game. Enter salt. Yes, when you sprinkle a bit of salt into your shoe, whether it's the right or left one, you're basically putting up a shield. This salty barrier functions as your personal force field, warding off negative energies and allowing you to continue moving towards your goals smoothly. And get this, salt isn't just for flavoring your meals. It's got some serious spiritual street cred too. People across cultures have long seen salt as a purifier, like a spiritual scrub brush for your soul. So by adding a pinch to your footwear, you're not just protecting yourself from bad vibes, you're also clearing the path ahead, sweeping away any obstacles that might trip you up along the way. Now Psalm 69, verse 22 says, Save me, O God. The waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I have come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is dry. 
My eyes fail while I wait for my God. Now let's move on to the process itself. First, we'll take some salt, whether it's regular kitchen salt or sea salt. Personally, I prefer sea salt since it's less processed and a bit purer. You put it in a small container and proceed with the technique. Picture this. The activation process is unfolding right here in this container. To kick it off, use your middle finger to trace clockwise circles. Now, you might wonder, why the middle finger? Well, in many spiritual traditions, it's known as the finger of the heart. Plus, it's linked to the element of void or ether, creating a direct pathway to that space where our desires take shape. As you're swirling the salt, what's running through your mind? The key is to infuse it with both protection and purpose. For example, if you're aiming to land a job, speak your intention aloud. Say something like, I activate this salt with the purpose of providing me protection and guiding me towards the job I know I deserve, and that will help me develop better in my life. Keep your language active and present tense, like saying, I activate this salt so that its power protects me and leads me at this moment to the economic freedom that belongs to me by divine right. Now, on to the next step. Once the salt is activated and blessed, stash it in a small bag or simply wrap it in plastic. This ensures it stays charged and primed to fulfill its mission. All right, let's talk about how to make this ritual work for you. First things first, comfort is key. You'll be carrying it in your shoes, so it's got to feel good. That's why we keep it simple with just a pinch, nothing to hassle you as you walk. And hey, we're not about amulets that cause discomfort. They're supposed to enhance your journey, not hold you back. Now let's address some frequently asked questions. Do you prefer the left shoe or the right shoe? It's up to you. Personally, I prefer putting it in the left shoe. Why? Because our hearts are slightly tilted in that direction, and I feel reassured knowing that my amulet is aligned with my heart. Making it a daily practice is key, especially if you lead a busy life and are often on the move. If your weekdays are packed with activities from Monday to Friday, then keep the amulet with you throughout the week. When the weekend rolls around, it's time to give that salt a break and return it to the earth, signaling a fresh start for the week ahead. And the best part? You can stick to this ritual for as long as you like, whether it's for a month, a year, or even indefinitely. There are no limits to how long you can benefit from this practice. Now, if you tend to stay home more often, no worries. Just use the amulet when you're out and about. But remember, don't leave that salt sitting around for more than a month without taking it for a spin outside. When you're at home, you're in your comfort zone, whether you're wearing shoes, sandals, or just enjoying being barefoot. That's when the amulet can relax a bit. Now let's discuss the outcome. The salt's got you covered right from the start, offering immediate protection. But as for your goals, well, they'll unfold in their own time, just like any worthwhile endeavor. So stay focused, stay positive, and keep moving forward. And that's the lowdown on this powerful ritual. Thanks for being here, and until next time, stay safe and keep manifesting those dreams.